I always knew that I wanted to go to art college, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to specialise in. And enjoyed, you know, the usual drawing and painting and things, but it was design that I wanted to, to finally specialise in. And I took jewellery as my final block in the summer of the first year, and luckily it clicked because it was beginning to panic that nothing else was just working for me. And looking back, at it, it's, it's a very obvious why it works for me because of the scale. Well, my work's inspired by collections, collections I have around the home and collections I actually use in my work. These tend to be mainly vintage items that are sometimes quite kitsch or miniature, quirky, you know, just lots of different bits and bobs that I've collected over the years and I'm still collecting. Recently, my work has become more narrative and I think this is since having my children. Um, I've been you know, reading storybooks and playing obviously with, with toys and over the years I've collected lots of old books and toys that I'm not able to actually play with them with and this the interaction has, you know, d d I've developed new ideas and work has become a little more fairy tale like and um, narrated. I get huge enjoyment of, you know, collecting the items that I use in the work, finding little unusual shops, antique shops, specialised shops, even how people display items in their shops and I find that very inspiring. What I do is I take found and formed objects and work with them until they connect and create a lively story and, and usually an organic silhouette. One of the challenges I have with working with found objects is obviously that I can't use heat with them. I've got around this by setting the objects in silver or sometimes riveting them together. But another challenge that I find is that I obviously want the work to look very spontaneous, but in actual fact, collaging all the objects together is actually quite a time consuming. So I find it quite challenging sometimes to make it look like that it's just sort of came together very naturally. Um, over the last six years, my work's developed quite a lot actually. Again, the usual found objects are there, but I've taken the shapes that I've used away with more geometric type shapes and opened them up and they've become freer and no more narrative than they used to be. The work I've done for the Druid is um, based around trees, so I've designed the, the actual tree shape first and then the tree life, I suppose, comes afterwards and that's inspired by the, the collections that I've, I have and collaging them together in order to come up with a story that, that works and connects. I put a lot of work and energy into um, making a piece so therefore when it comes to passing that on to the wearer I tend to disconnect all ties with that piece so that they can make their own connection and own bond with the piece and that connection can be either just that it speaks to them, they just like it visually or they relate to the individual items that are housed within the brooch. People have been taking images of my work and putting them on their blogs and chatting about my work and I've been getting customers from all over the world through that and also it's inspirational for me because I'm seeing all this really creative work from all over the world. There's people just sitting at home making and it's in a new technology, a new way of buying things but yeah it's, it's almost like going back in time because it's it's so fresh and handmade and different small little cottage industries I suppose. I think the purpose of my work is to sort of almost bring out the child within. It's really important that I am able to make people smile and bring back memories.